Uh, welcome to Eastern Newsbeat. I'm here with Trisha Zima and Deanna Roberts. We're at the uh, the Knox or the Fern Tree Gully Community Arts Centre. We had so much material from last week that we've uh, decided to make a second show of it. Trisha Zima will be doing the interview of Deanna Roberts, so I'll hand the camera over to you, Trisha. Now, uh, Trisha will be interviewing Deanna, and I'll hand the microphone over to you now, Trisha. Wonderful. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Bill. Welcome, Deanna. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Good to be back here doing this again. I know. Yeah. What a fabulous week it was oh, last week. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. There's so much talent here, and, you know, it's just great to share that with everybody. Share it around. Now, I want to hear your journey. When did you first get into pottery? Gosh, back in 1990, I thought, oh, I'm going to go do, do short course, you know, just a little eight-week thing. And I did, and I was hooked. So I did another short course, another one, and another one, another one. And I think it was about three years after that when there were a group of us that stuck together and we thought this is, there's got to be more than short courses here but the diploma at that stage was not available to us. So we applied to TAFE as a group and said, hey, we want a course. Oh, how clever. And put a nice formal letter together and said, please give us this, this and this and we want these components, we want to learn all these things. And they said yes, so they put a one-year course together, together for us, and we did that. And a year later we thought, okay, we still want another course, thanks. And the diploma hadn't been born yet, so they created another one for us, which was an extension and went into the physics and the chemistry and the industrial side of ceramics and so forth. So we did that, and then finally the Diploma of Arts came into play, and we all did that. So eight years later, a lot of us then graduated with a Diploma of Arts majoring in ceramics and some of us in industrial ceramics. Mm. And then you've gone on as well to do some teaching. Yes, I taught at Potter's Cottage for a little while and uh, talked with kids and that was great fun and uh, have played around with some clay with lots of adults as well. It's been great fun and uh, it's, it's in the blood. It's, I remember one of my pottery teachers saying to me once, you know, once you start getting your hands into clay, you'll love gardening. And I hated gardening, loathed it. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, that's it. Once your hands are in clay, gardening's a breeze. Really? Yeah, yeah, snails, no problem. I wonder <laughs> if it goes the other way. I love gardening, <laughs> I should get oh, into well, clay. It's getting your hands in the dirt. It's the, it's the dirty, messy factor, I think. It's very therapeutic, it's very tactile, of course. And it's just, it's that one-on-one -on -one connection thing that you have with a clay body and getting it to do what you want and shaping it to to what you desire and that's yeah it's, it's very cool now a little bit later you're going to show us a bit of turning yes yes, a bit of throwing. yes. yes. and what clay is your preferred clay i love to throw with a porcelainous stoneware and i like it because the porcelain is very fine it's a it's a very fine body uh, and when it's mixed with a stoneware body it just gives it a little bit more uh, support if you like it's got a little more substance to it porcelain is very fine to work with so if you stuff it up then <laughs> you recycle your clay oh, but it's one of those clays that's a lot more expensive so you, uh, you you're very careful with it yeah but that's my preferred medium in clay hmm. very good now when you were teaching what were your favorite things to teach the kids I like to play with a wheel with the kids, but the kids tended to go, mm, yeah, too hard. I want to, I want to make, an, you know, an animal, or I want to make a bear or something. So we'd, we'd work a lot with sculpture with the children, yeah. So they go home for something through the garden or for the bedroom. Uh, yes, and Christmas presents for the family. Mm -hmm. yes, Mum and Dad. I've got yes. some lovely clay from my yes. kids from when they were little. See, so there you go. That's where it's come from. Mm. Yeah. Now behind us, we've got yeah. some of your stunning pieces. I'd love you to take me through some of these. Sure. These little bottles. There's a collection of them here. These were made uh, originally as glaze tests. So I was making up glazed recipes, like you would a recipe for a cake. A glazed recipe is very similar in that all the ingredients go in. And then you make it up to the consistency that you require for your clay body. And applied to these bottles to test to see how they would come out. And they've actually come out really nicely. These are all a stoneware, porcelainous stoneware body. And they've been decorated in various colours because I'm all about bright. And love to show simple decoration that, you know, it's not complicated but it's something that you could use, it's practical, or you know, you can use it obviously for food or put your earrings in it or whatever. <laughs> oh, I, think, I think they look beautiful on the table with a bit of olive oil in them. Exactly, yes. Yes, it's lovely for olive oil or uh, putting your vinegar in or uh, 
your, your salt and pepper, you know, on the table. Little um, serving dishes when you're serving up a main meal. It's, you know, it's versatile, you can't go wrong. And mugs, of course, well, you know. Everyone needs a cuppa. That's right, <laughs> that's right. So these are one of my favourites too, just going on the old style of, you know, ceramics, the traditional stripes, the uh, Cornish wear, it was, the blue and, blue and cream colours that you may have seen before. This is just a variation on that theme. Yeah, so something else that that inspired me to do something of my own. Very good. Mm. Now we've got one more exciting thing to do before you show us some of your throwing of your pots. Right. Don't throw them at my head. No, <laughs> no I promise. <laughs> You're going to show us the kiln. Yeah, but before I do, I just want to say that we've got our Christmas sale coming up, exhibition oh. on Saturday, November 22nd and Sunday the 23rd of November. Tree Fern Potters, we're going to be here again at the Ferntree Gully Community Arts Centre, 1010 Burwood Highway in Ferntree Gully. It's just opposite Aldi, so it's really easy to find. And if you want to get in touch, 97589180. 97589180. And what a perfect time to get your Chrissy yeah. gifts. Oh, it's great. There's so much available. And of course, it varies every time. Every piece is unique. Every piece. So let's head to the kiln now. Look at these kilns. Yeah. yeah.